Hey everybody, it's about that time, what do you think? Let's take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, just a quick note on this next beer review. This is Dogfish Heads India Brown Ale. This was sent to me by Ryan. I reviewed this beer uh, on uh, April the 11th, guys, before I went to Florida. And somehow it slipped through the cracks uh, on the computer and I didn't get it posted. And he uh, emailed me and wanted to know when I was going to do it after I got back. And uh, I told him it was coming and uh, went to look and uh, I'd already reviewed it, I just didn't post it. So here's a review from April 11th. Uh, Ryan, sorry brother, uh, it just slipped through the cracks. I'm getting senile in my old age. So let's check out the review here from the Dogfish Head India Brown Ale. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. This ought to be a tasty treat. Uh, Dogfish Head beers usually are. Uh, this is Dogfish Head Indian Brown Ale. I don't know how. This has slipped through the cracks. Uh, I thought I had reviewed this one, and uh, don't think that I have. So uh, Ryan sent this one down to me uh, to uh, to review for you guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can probably get this here. It's just that it has slipped through the cracks. They brew this year round too. So uh, uh, if you can get Dogfish Head beers in your area, you should be able to pick this one up too. This particular one was. I think it's got a date on it here somewhere. Yeah, bottled on. Looks like 021515, February 15th of 2015. And this is a 7.2% alcohol by volume beer. And I read somewhere that it's, uh, yeah. Commercial description on this says, India Brown Ale, a cross between a Scotch Ale, an IPA, and an American Pale Ale. This beer is well hopped and malty at the same time. It is brewed with aromatic barley and caramelized brown sugar. 50 IBUs, available year-round, bottles and draft. Descriptors, notes of molasses, coffee, ginger, raisinets, and chocolate. Oh, that sounds pretty damn tasty. Yeah. I like a brown ale every now and then. I, I, I do. I don't drink a lot of browns, but I do like that maltiness and, and, and hints of uh, chocolate and maybe some coffee or something in there. Uh, and, the, and, this, and that's the commercial description on, uh, on Rape Beer. Beer Advocate says, forget about the companies. This is the original hybrid. A cross between a Scotch Ale, an Indian Pale Ale, and an American Brown. Indian, Indian Brown Ale is a well hopped and malty at the same time. It's magical. The beer has characteristics of each style that inspired it. The color of an American Brown, the caramel notes of a Scotch Ale, and the hopping regimen of an IPA. We dry hop the Indian Brown Ale in a similar fashion to our 60 minute IPA and 90 minute IPA. This beer is brewed with aromatic barley and arrogant, arrogant, organic brown sugar, 50 IBUs. So it's got a lot of different characters from different beers there with the Scotch Ale and the IPA and, and brown ales. Uh, uh, a lot going on in that bottle. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on in that bottle. And it's 7.2% uh, other than it being a, a hoppy beer, like the 60 and 90 minute IPA, you could probably sell them this one for a little while, but but knowing that they popped the hell out of it, uh, you probably wouldn't want to. So, and, and, and with them brewing it year round, you probably don't have to. I mean, you can drink it fresh. Uh, I don't know how often they put a new batch out, so, but you could probably get it pretty fresh if you can get their beers year round. So, let's, uh, before I grab the bottle and pop the cap, let's go over to the, if I get the tablet to work. Sometimes it's electronic things, it'll chap your ass if you let them. 
They include pairing Cuisine's barbecue cheeses, the earthy Camembert Fontina, your nutty cheeses, Asiago Colby, uh, and Parmesan, and here it says General Chocolate, and meat is beef. Uh, so it should have some chocolatey notes uh, in there using the brown sugar and, and the, uh, the caramelized malt and stuff like that they use, or, or the barley. Glass right a pint back and down tumbler mugs down and said, oh, I'm going to use the uh, sovereign beer glass here, guys, so I can enhance the aromas just a little bit for the beer review. And it says not recommended for extended cellaring. So, like I said, I don't believe I would have tried to sell them this since they do it year round. There's no need. And I don't think it's going to improve any. It's probably going to be detrimental since it's so hot forward. So we'll see. I think I've had this beer, I just hadn't reviewed it. But it's been a long time since I've had it. It's probably been five or six years since I've had it. Alright guys, with that aggressive pour, uh, not quite a finger of head, over to the light. It is a rich red ruby color, guys. And I see a lot of bubbles streaming up from the inside of the glass, reinforcing that head. Good looking brown ale, it really is. Looks a lot like a scotch ale to me. Let's get a nose on it. I am getting that rich, heavily roasted malt. There is a nice sweetness to it, and, and as far as the hoppiness, I am getting that hop, hop forwardness. Now, it's not a big pine in your face grapefruit pineapple hop. To me it's more of a floral herbal style hop. So it doesn't tell me what hops they used on this. But I'm definitely getting the the, uh, the coffee and, and, and the uh, sweetness of the uh, the uh, brown sugar that they've used. Definitely getting the coffee. I mean, I, now that it's getting a little more air to the... Getting the notes of coffee and chocolate, so... Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Ryan. Thank you, sir. That's very pleasant. You can definitely taste that there there is some hot forwardness to this beer. Not your typical brown ale. Indian brown ale. I wonder where they get the Indian from. Nice and sweet. Caramel. Coffee. Chocolate. And there's a, enough bitterness, I don't want to say it's overly bitter, but there's enough bitterness to know that it's got some IPA influences or they've hopped the hell out of it. It definitely has that hop, hop bite to it. Of course, I expect that from Dogfish. <laughs> they, uh, especially with the 60 minute, 90 minute, and 120 minute IPA, they they know how to hop the hell out of a beer. They they really do. So, well, let's try it out of the fridge, 40 degrees. It's leaving a very very nice slicing on the glass. Let me take it back and let her taste it, and we'll come back and do the final chug and grind. And this looks pretty impressive to me too. I would uh, not be hesitant to say this is a. Uh, an A beer also, but we're going to let it warm up and see where it ends and see if I can get any more flavors and stuff as it warms up and uh, find out where it ends up, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left. I've been sipping on in here about 35, 40 minutes. Nice coffee. The the coffee is a little stronger than the chocolate taste to me. Uh, nice sweetness from the, uh, uh, the brown sugar and my molasses note in there. Uh, not giving a whole lot of dark fruit, but very tasty brown ale. Final chug. Very nice aroma. Very, very nice. Give it a 
big roasted uh, malt uh, coffee aroma in the nose. A nice sweetness to it, just enough bitterness to balance it out. There is a hot presence to it, but it's not enough in your face like an IPA, a West Coast style IPA. Very, very pleasant. Very, very pleasant. And like they said, it's, it, it is like a cross between a, a Scotch Ale and, 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 and I wouldn't say it's an IPA. I'm not getting that hot profile, but maybe a hoppy pale. And uh, the, the caramel and toffee notes are there. I mean, it's uh, very pleasant. It's, it is very tasty beer, uh, as is uh, most of the Dogfish Head beers. Uh, they do do some out-of-the-box out stuff that, uh, that I haven't enjoyed as much, but they're all very well-made beers and very pleasant. I've been to the brewery and did the tour. Uh, very nice place there in Delaware. Uh, very tasty beer. Ryan, thanks again for sending me this one. Uh, I don't know how it slipped through the cracks that I hadn't reviewed it, but now that we have, it's very tasty. It's uh, very enjoyable. Definitely uh, worth picking up and, and giving it a try if you can get Dogfish Head beers. This is their Indian Brown Ale. As far as I'm concerned, guys, uh, uh, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. It's uh, it's pretty enjoyable. It's definitely an A beer in my in my book. We've had a a run of eight beers here recently, so uh, this goes. Uh, uh, right with those, uh, right in the category there. Definitely think it's an A beer. I don't think it's quite, in my opinion, now there might be people that disagree with me, say, oh man, this is a 9 or it's a 10. I wouldn't argue with that. If, it, if it's your favorite style or, or you like the style very much, uh, it may very well be a 9 or a 10. So, uh, I think it's an 8. That's where I'm going to put it. That's where I'm going to leave it. Uh, over to uh, Beer Advocate, they say 92. That's about exactly where I would put it. If I was putting a numeric rating on this beer, it'd be a 91 or a 92. It's uh, definitely an A beer. Definitely worth trying if you can get your hands on it. You like this style of beer. And over to uh, uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 98 overall and 100 in the style. So great numbers from everybody there. Definitely a, B, an A beer from everybody. Uh, rate Beer, Beer Advocate, and myself. So if you've had this one from Dogfish Head, their Indian Brown Ale, let me know what you think, guys. And that's the deal. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.